Okay, hi, this is Rick, and uh, welcome to another unboxing and review. This uh, unboxing and review is on the Air Mouse 2.4 Motion Sensing Air Mouse. <laughs> it says it has a keyboard built into it. So we'll go ahead and we'll take this apart. Now you can look in here, and it tells you what it's compatible and what it supports the systems. And we have Android. Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. On the back side of here, it says the basic functions. It's a six axis inertia sensor, supports the motion sensing games, mouse cursor on and off, up to 10 meters transmission, which I believe is three feet, which would be three feet foot per meter so it's 30 feet I believe that's right <laughs> it's an infrared remote control with an IR learning lead lighting function laser pointer functionality other side of the box tells you the applications and we said Android box mini PC smart TV projector, HTPC, or an all-in-one PC TV. So that's that it's for the unboxing. Pull it out. Here's the USB dongle. I imagine that will go into your device. And my device I'm going to use is the TX5 Pro Android box. It has the USB slots on the side of it. There's a little manual tells you the different functions of the keys and the instructions. So we'll take it out of the wrapper here. It just has a wrapper on the face. It's pretty smooth and stylish remote. It has a reflective type of plastic on the front and a keyboard on the back. The rubberized keyboard keys and like a flat black finish on the back of the plastic. Large scroll button here with OK. Of course your numbers and then I imagine you can set these up for a quick function keys and it looks like it has a little internet key and of course a power key up here I don't believe it it's backlit we'll find out once we open it up and it looks like this is where the batteries will go I thought maybe it had a little flip up but I don't know if it flips up or just pulls off it just pulls so that just pulls off and it looks like it doesn't come with any batteries so we're going to have to go ahead and put some batteries in. So I went ahead and I put some batteries in there. I've got some Tenergy uh, rechargeable batteries. I use all rechargeable batteries on all my remotes. Um, these are ones that actually uh, can be pre-charged so, so they hold a charge a lot longer. Let me go ahead and put the battery compartment cover back on. and that's that so according to the remote we'll go ahead and we'll put the USB dongle in make sure it lines up with your device port your USB ports plug it in and it looks like my device has put up a little USB tag on there showing that something was just installed now I don't believe that it sensed the remote right away but we'll check believe it or not it did and it also has a wireless mouse as you can see there which is really cool you just go back and forth to whatever you want to hit and then you can hit OK 
and that opened up my media program which is Cody to go back that's pretty cool to scroll right around and with the wireless mouse and right there there is a little cursor so I'm wondering if I hit that cursor that now remove that so now I can just use my scrolling through the remote control so to get back where I was on the Android box oh there's a home screen right here so it looks like there's a home screen right there maybe you can see that and we'll push that and see if it takes us back to the Android box and it did so this is recognized immediately as soon as you pull, plug in that USB dongle that's excellent um, I'm gonna give this a good review it looks like everything works fine and it recognizes that USB dongle as soon as you plug it in and that's great and if you want the wireless mouse back again you can just activate it there on the keyboard the reason why I got this was to try the keyboard out so let's see if I can get this in the picture here maybe a little difficult but let me just try and that seems to be great So it works just like a regular keyboard, nice and seamless. And I think this is going to be a great addition besides just the regular stock Android uh, remote that I got with uh, my Android box. So that's it. That's just a quick review. Um, let me know what you think. Once again, please subscribe. You never know what I'm going to review or what I'm going to talk about. I appreciate the feedback. And let me know how you make out with yours. But I do recommend this. It seems like it's a lot easier than fooling around with the stock remotes that come with these boxes. So thanks again for watching. Bye.